What up everyone, this is gonna be a quick review on the Orient Bambino. I know you guys got places to go, so I'm not gonna ramble on for over 10 minutes and get straight to the review. This is the box that the Bambino comes in. The box is really nice. The aluminum plate at the front really gives you the impression that this is a high quality watch. Let's take a look inside. This is the Orient Bambino 2nd generation version 3. This watch retails for $110. This watch has a case diameter of 40.5mm, thickness 11.5mm, lug to lug is 46.5mm, lug width is 21mm, and the weight is 62 grams. This sounds like a medium sized watch, but the case wears smaller than what its dimensions on paper suggest. The case sits completely flat and slim on the wrist. The lugs are pretty short and doesn't point out on the sides. Also the glass has a slight dome which is why the thickness measures to 11.5 millimeters but in reality it won't look as thick as it measures to be. Because of this the Bambino version 3 definitely wears smaller than it looks and it fits like your traditional dress watch. With that said, this is a size that will work well with the wide range of wrist sizes. The dome crystal mentioned earlier is made of mineral glass. It's not as tough as sapphire crystal, but mineral glass is what you can expect from a watch in this price range. This case is water resistant of up to 30 meters. That means that this is splash proof, but will not withstand any kind of submersion. So don't go swimming or shower in this. For the finishing, it's a thin polished metal bezel and the sides are polished as well. The whole case is polished to give it more of a professional dress watch look. The clown is positioned at the 3 o'clock and has their logo on it. This is a standard push-pull crown. The Bambino version 3 comes in 3 different colors. The one I have is in a white, but they also have a dark blue and black colored dial. The hour and minute hands are rectangular shape. This might be a turn off for some people since there's no beveling or any details, but I think it adds to the watch's personality. Then we have our standard date window at the 3 o'clock. Overall very simple and minimalistic dial. Onto the strap, so one downside to this watch is that the lug width is 21mm, so it will be a little bit of a challenge to find replaceable straps for this. If it was 20mm, that would be ideal width, but it's not, so watch out for this. Just like any other dress watch, the watch comes with leather straps to give it that dressy and formal look. This is genuine calfskin leather, it has a little stiffness to it, but with genuine leather, it should soften up as you wear it more often. I really like the pointy tapered end on the strap. Strap, I think it makes the watch look more professional and appealing. Now for the movement. This is Orient's in-house automatic F6724 movement, which is a really good budget automatic movement. The movement has both hacking and hand winding functions, which aren't common in automatic movements of this price range. I really wish this had a see-through case bag, but I know dress watches usually don't, but I wish they did because I really like staring at the movement. For the fit, my wrists are six and three quarter inches. Like I said before, it fits slimmer than the measurements suggest. The dial is simple and timeless and it looks great. Looking at a side view, you can see that the glass is domed, which gives it that illusion that the dial is popping up. There are some designs that never go out of style and are timeless, and the Bambino version 3 is one of them. Whether you want a reliable and classic dress watch for everyday wear, or an affordable dress watch for formal occasions, this is simply a great choice. And that's it for this week's video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Orient Bambino. I have an entire playlist of watch reviews right here, so check that out if you love watches. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.